How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Black Metal Rebellion. I'm your host Jesse Morgan and today we have another fucking thrash metal update. So get your beers ready, get your horns ready, and uh, let's kick this off with some sick shit. And uh, I do mean some sick shit because, uh, yeah, this is Cemetery Lust, not to be confused with Cemetery Dust, who are also an amazing kind of thrash metal band, but this is Cemetery Lust. And this is their third release with Rotting in Piss. Yep, Rotting in Piss. Um, and I kind of have my uh, bro, Atzeg, uh, from Atzeg's Abyss to thank for this because he kind of was the one that turned me on to this band. Turned me on so good. Uh, <laughs> but no, this is actually a really, really good band. Uh, definitely appreciate him showing this off in his collection to tweak my interests. Uh, or is it peak? I don't know. We'll just go with tweak because tweaking nipples. <laughs> Anyways, this, uh, this band's really, really good. They're a black thrash band with some elements of grind in it. Uh, from Oregon, U.S. of all places. You, I mean, you'd think Oregon has sweet diddly shit at all in it, but uh, it apparently has a bunch of really good bands in it. Uh, namely, uh, Cemetery Lust. Um, yeah, these guys started in 2009, and they've got two other albums besides this one. Uh, once again, this being the third album, so duh. But yeah, uh, highly recommend it if you like your thrash with some, like, just like filthy grimy lyrics uh with some blackened elements with some grind elements highly recommend checking out this highly not in focus album <laughs> rotting and pissed by cemetery lust but uh yeah really enjoyed it thanks at zeg for you know showing me this on your channel thanks for turning me on to it uh you guys definitely should go over and subscribe cheers so that's uh, Cemetery Lust with Rotting and Piss. Next, some really, really good Italian thrash. Uh, this is Ultra Violence with their first EP called Wild Crash from 2012. Uh, now these guys started in 2009 and have three full lengths after this. Uh, before they are known as Ultra Violence, however, they were known as Fallen Angels. Uh, so that's kind of interesting. There's uh, there's a few different thrash bands that like to have like the name Angel in it, like Seventh Angel, Suicidal Angel, etc. Uh, but hey, maybe that's why they changed it. Maybe because uh, they didn't want to sound like every other one of those Angel bands. But once again, uh, it's on Punishment 18 Records. You know you're going to get some good thrash if it's on Punishment 18. And this is no different. The vocals in this are great. There's, I think, only once in this it does do that, like, falsetto, like, uh, tr you know, traditional heavy metal scream thing. But most of it's just, like, kind of, like, raspy thrash vocals. Very mean, very punishing. Um, like, all three tracks on here is great. Wild Crash, Infernal Trip. Frustration of the Soul, Inhuman Slaves, and they even have a song called Herpes, which is, you know, the gift that keeps on giving. So, hey. Um, but yeah, <laughs> I highly recommend this band. Um, this is the one I was talking about in the other video where I want to get one of their, like, uh, t-shirt album and patch bundles. Um, but we'll see. I don't know. Um, I'll probably actually be buying a new Cemetery Dust album at the end of this month and a volvectomy patch off of uh, uh, Triple B, if you watch this. Uh, you know who I'm talking about. But yeah, check out Ultraviolence with Wild Crash. Excellent, excellent thrash band from Italy. Next is kind of one that some people either, like, they either like it or, or they hate them. Um, I don't know if they think their lyrics are cheesy or if they're just, I don't know, maybe cliche or, or they think they're kind of unoriginal, but... I really enjoy the riffs. The The vocals are kind of hit and miss sometimes. I do prefer the vocals on their very, very first album. But the band I'm talking about, and I finally get to have a, a physical copy of and, and have a reason for owning a shirt and a couple of patches by, uh, and I'm talking about Lich King. Uh, this is the you know earliest album I could pick up, I think, from IndieMerch.com for fucking 
21 dollars us shipped so that is expensive expensive for one fucking uh cd that's 27 dollars close to 30 dollars canadian for one cd yeah so uh obviously you you'd, if you live in canada and you want these guys cds you'd better really really like them because you're going to be spending out your asshole for it but i i had to own at least one album by these guys to justify uh, that shirt that I own and the patch so I, I bit the bullet and I said fuck it I'm gonna get this I'm gonna own at least one damn album by Lich King and it's the third album world gone dead now if you don't know who Lich King is uh, they're just kind of like your typical like new wave of old-school thrash metal band uh, from the US that started out in 2004 um, they have six full lengths and one EP the the EP is called the do-over and it uh, it basically has a bunch of remastered tracks from the first two albums, I think, but not all of them. So they, they kind of picked and cho choosed what they wanted to throw on there. But yeah, so if you want to hear any of their old songs, maybe pick up the Do Over EP. Um, but yeah, this one's pretty damn good. It's honestly, I, th I think Toxic Zombie... Onslaught is probably the best album, so their second album. But this, you know, will will do. This will do, Donkey. Uh, I'll eventually maybe get the other ones if I can find a better price. But you know, I had to bite the bullet and, and get this for twenty one U S dollars shipped, and, and just so I could say I have at least one of their albums, and they're good. Like if you can get past the vocals, and if, and if you just don't pay attention to the lyrics, if that's not your thing, if you don't like cheesy kind of cliche you know, party, weird, whatever, like, themed songs, then you'll get over it and you'll be able to enjoy this. But, yeah, uh, I really like that logo. And I know a lot of people who play World of Warcraft compare them to the Lich King from there. But on their Facebook, it actually says that they have nothing to do with the, the Lich King from Warcraft. So I don't know. Maybe they're kidding. Maybe they're not. Maybe they're just tired of being asked. But I don't think so. I think if they say they're not, then I guess they're not. But yeah, uh, I enjoy it. I don't know why the fuck it says behave yourself there. But whatever. Uh, yeah, so that's third album by Lich King. World Gone Dead. All right, next, you've seen an album of these guys and my previous update, uh, once again, through Punishment 18 Records, so you know it's going to be good. Uh, this is Battery from Denmark. Um, I already kind of explained a little bit about them in the, in the other video, so maybe check that one out. I got their Nuke EP. Um, but yeah, this is their first album called Armed with Rage from 2014. Uh, really good stuff. It's a bit of a step up production wise and whatnot from the Nuke EP demo, whatever. Um, the vocals changed a little bit, but they're, they're you know, they're, they're still basically the same thing. But, that you, you know, you can hear a little bit of a change. I still love that logo. Don't know why. We'll probably eventually try to track down a battery shirt. I don't know if they have any in stock or if I'll ever have the fucking money for it. It'll probably cost me an arm and a leg, but hey, uh, I, r I really wouldn't mind, you know, a shirt with that logo on it. Maybe this artwork. I don't know. There's nothing really too super special with this art artwork. It kind of looks like, kind of looks like Ed Repke artwork. Maybe it's not, but hey, anyways, check them out. Uh, this is their first album, Armed with Rage. Really, really good. Battery from Denmark. All right. And this next one. Um, I kind of skipped a whole bunch and I went straight and got their last album. This is Onslaught with Six. Uh, once again, I've kind of talked about these guys in a previous video, uh, but Onslaught is a thrash metal from the United Kingdom that started in 1982. And I think they thought they were going to be going a little bit more of a, of a death metal um, direction when they started this band out. Um, because the first album was going to be called Death Metal until they changed it to Power From Hell. Um, but then, you know, a few albums later, they, you know, probably was six or seven, probably a few. I don't know if I wrote it down in the last one. Probably not. Uh, six albums, yeah. So, yeah, they've got six albums. This is the sixth one. Um, and they definitely have some death metal elements here and there. They definitely have some, like, heavier 
slightly melodic elements here and there as well but all in all this is just a damn good thrash album uh with some tricks up their sleeve that's not just like your average thrash album so if you have not for whatever reason checked out any of the new onslaught stuff definitely check out six uh especially the song six six fucking six it's it's pretty damn good um i love the artwork and if you got the onslaught shirt from the metalhead box this is the album that it's from so yeah uh kind of also another reason why i wanted to get this is because i have the shirt and if i have the shirt i'm kind of really compelled to own the cd so yeah i'm kind of glad i did this is an amazing album by onslaught they're definitely not showing any signs of like like i don't know recycling or getting old or or getting less heavy or you know any signs of wear and these guys have been doing it since fucking 1982 so cheers to onslaught keep kicking ass keep making albums because this shit is great check out the new album from onslaught six i mean a new 2013 but they haven't put one out after so still technically the new album but yeah cheers great fucking album go check it out um as usual i'll have you know links provided in the description box below i will once again probably provide them for the the least talked about or ones i haven't talked about in you know previously on this channel hopefully i showed you something new most of you probably know about lich king and onslaught hopefully battery now since my last video so i'll put some uh links down in there for ultra violence and cemetery lust and these guys cemetery dust thanks again to atseg gala from atseg's abyss for introducing me to cemetery lust um and that's it for glory for the rebellion slimerella out Go subscribe to my boy Atzeg. Slamorella out. Lord Husk, what do you want? Oh damn boy, that's a sexy Arcspire shirt, giggity goo. Oh fuck, this is still on. Fuck, 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 fuck. This is... Run in the sky! We're built to die!